hi guys you are watching go it center and in this video we are going to show you that how we can install latest windows 11 25 h2 without bloatware so after the installation you will get highly optimized windows 11 25 h2 even onto the old computer it will work as a uh, as a supersonic speed so let's start the video so so first of all we have to go on to the Chrome browser we have to type Windows download then we have to click on that and then we have to scroll down it and just we need to click on to the uh, Windows 11 then we have to confirm the language and uh, wait for a second then we have to choose the language once we choose the language then we have to confirm it once we confirm it then we have to click on to the download and downloading will be started instantly so i have already downloaded the iso so in order to save the time so just now we have to we are going to perform a fresh and clean installation so uh, uh, and we are not using the usb so we will take a little chunk from the c drive uh, let me show you so you have to first of all you have to go on to the uh, onto the your your download folder then we have to mount the iso then you have to go into the locate your uh, windows 11 iso then you have to right click on it and mount it and then open it so you can see that it has been mounted now we need a small partition means uh, around 10 GB 10 GB is more than enough so we are not using USB over here so just we need a 10 GB partition from your C drive after the installation we will remerge it so no need to worry about it space will not waste it will not be wasted so no need to worry about that just you have to type the computer management then once you type the computer management you have to click on that and uh, then you will have a computer management come on come on come on then you have to click on to the disk management and once you click on to the disk management then you will have all the drives so we we need to take a little chunk from the c drive it's 94 gb space so we are just we are taking a 10 gb part from the existing partition so let's click on that showing the partition and it would take uh, around uh, 30 seconds maybe 20 seconds not more than that uh, wait for a second now so the important thing is that this calculation uh, is in the mpps so in 1 gb we have 1024 mpps keep remember so we need a 10 gb so i'm typing here one zero two four zero one zero two four zero then we have to click on to the shrink and you will see the partition uh, wait for a second partition will be created shortly so now we have to right click on it new simple volume next next you can see that it will reflect inside the uh, computer it will reflect as a F drive so keep remember that F drive inside the F drive we have to put all these ISO files inside the F drive so we have to click next and then we have to click next and then finish and it will be done instantly let me re uh, you can re relabel it as well if you want to rename it like uh, you can give the temporary name like USB in order to avoid any confusion so you can give the name so no need to worry about that so so now we have to copy all these files and then we have to we have to go inside the air drive look at the air drive here, here is the air drive now we have to paste all these files okay the files are being pasted and uh, till that time we need to download uh, one important file uh, so we need uh, we, we need to go on to the github 
so we need to download this file so no need to worry about that uh, i will give the link in the description so you can just directly click on that and download this file so no need to worry about that so we are going to download this file it will it will uh, through through this we can deep load our windows and uh, our windows will be super fast and you will get extremely supersonic speed uh, after the installation and you will you will get a best performance from the windows even onto the old laptop or on supported hardware so you have to download it just you have to download it so you have to download the file and uh, and you have to just cut it and i hope files are copied now so all the files are copied now so we have to paste this file here and that's it now we have to close it so uh, after that we need to download one software because we have to make our drive as a bootable drive so in order to do so we we need to download our easy bcd software so go into the chrome browser type the easy bcd and just click on that you will have a first link and then you have to scroll down it and then you have to click on to the register register so you can give any email address over here uh, like uh, I have to give my name and you can give any email address here and just click on to the download it will be downloaded instantly it is the one of the finest and safe method of windows installation and deep load your windows means you can remove your remove the bootware and you can get the maximum performance from your uh, windows 11 onto the old laptop so this is the one of the uh, finest and safe method so you can follow that and just you have to double click on that because you have to install this application and uh, just click yes it will be installed instantly because it's a very lightweight software easy pcd next 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 so it will be installed and you can see that now we can uh, run it so once it is run it hit ok ok now we have to go inside the add new entry and then we have to click on to the win pe then you can give any name over here like uh, you can give win win uh, like uh, windows uh, 11 let's say and then you have to select your app drive go into the, this pc then scroll down it and uh, you have to just click on to the app drive and then you have to click on to the sources and here you have to select the boot win file so where is the boot win here is the boot win so once you click the boot win files then you have to click uh, and you can see that it has been mounted now just we need to restart our pc and uh, fresh and clean installation will be started in front of you so i'm i'm performing this activity over the virtual machine over the vmware exi but obviously in your case it will be a physical system so once you restart it you will have a installation page and uh, let me open my vmware exi so in your case it will be a physical system in my case it is a virtual machine so no need to confuse yourself so it is pretty much clear so once you restart it you will have an instantly installation wizard and uh, i have to open my vmware exi so just give me a give me two seconds so let me open my vmware exi and i will be back shortly so i have opened my vmware exi and you can see that we have already mounted the file in front of you and just we need to restart our system so watch this video till end the process is very simple and uh, just we have to click on to the restart so let's wait and once the system restarted we will have a installation visit so i'm i'm so let's wait for two, uh, 10 to 20 seconds not more than that and it will be restarted instantly wait for a second So in my case, it is a is it is a virtual system, 
and but in your case it will be uh, it will be a physical system so once you restart it you will have this wizard over the physical system so so no need to confuse at any step if you have any problem you can send the question in the comment section of this video i will give you answer instantly so no need to worry about it so we gave the name windows 11 if you remember that so we have to just click on to the windows 11 and installation will be started instantly uh, without any delay so i hope you you are enjoying a method of this installation and uh, you will get highly optimized windows after the installation so uh, obviously uh, bloatware will be removed and uh, if you want to install any application uh, after the after getting the windows once once you optimize the windows and let's say if you want to install anything like xbox or anything then obviously you will have a, a microsoft store just you can go on, just you have to go on to the microsoft store and you can download that application uh, from the microsoft store so so no need to worry about that means uh, everything is good and perfect so just you have to click on to the next next so we we have just click on to the next and now the things are getting ready so i was saying that uh, if uh, you need something uh, that after the installation especially let's say because we are going to debloat windows 11 25 uh, h2 so let's say once you debloat the windows and if you need something after the installation so you just you have to go on to the microsoft store and you can download it easily so it's not a big deal so uh, we don't have the product key right now just we click on that so what type of version you have to install means uh, category you have to select windows category category let's say windows 11 pro you can select home or or uh, enterprise or uh, any other version uh, depending on your needs so i'm going to install windows 11 pro let's click on to the next and then we have to select our now i hope you will have a license agreement and you have to accept it now you have to select the max size of your drive let's say c drive so 84 gb so it was our c drive so let's format it first and uh, let's format it first because we are going to perform a fresh and clean installation so you can see that it is available so now click on that now hit next so installation has been started in front of you so it will take around uh, 45 minutes to one hour and uh, so let them install and uh, once it is done i will back so windows has been installed successfully and you can see that we have to just hit yes united states wait for a second Give me, give me a second uh, my net is is uh, seems like disconnected give me a second now we have to click just yes skip then we have to give it the name I have to give it my name password next then password 
then next so we have to select the questions now now we have to give the answers Now we have to wait so it would take little time and you can see that it is being initialized and obviously it would take time so I'm going to stop this video once it is done I will be back so Windows has been successfully installed you can see that and we have neat and clean interface and uh, everything is good and perfect and you can see that and now we will have a visit we have to wait it wait for a while So here we have to enable the user control. Yes. Okay. And then restart changes. So it is being restarted and once it is done I will back. So finally we have Windows 11. 25 windows 11 25 hu we have successfully done the clean and fresh installation in front of you and if you check out the start menu so you will get uh, we have no bloatwares and this obviously uh, we, you will get marvelous performance even onto the old pc and uh, we have successfully done it now our last job is pending which is the merging of our partition so we have to go into the computer management and you can see that look at the speed so it is working absolutely on low spec system so and it is working working absolutely perfect so we have to click on to the disk management uh, here is here is our partition we have to delete this partition delete volume yes now we have to delete partition so now it is unlocated unallocated now we have to extend this volume extend volume hit next next finish and you can see that it has been merged so that's all for today and we have successfully installed the windows 11 25 h2 without any plotware and it is working absolutely perfect so thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to and family friends stay safe bye bye